on this tutorial i just want to quickly show how to find your normal force all right and then how to find your frictional force after finding your normal force so i've already done the calculations for normal force you can watch a video on that all right i will try and make sure i link the videos all right so now the best thing now is to know how to find the frictional force so the biggest work in finding the frictional force of which the frictional force is basically equals to coefficient of friction times the normal force All right that's why we spend a lot of time finding the normal force because we needed to find the friction and we need the friction to find the resultant force and find the acceleration of the objects on the surface all right so the value of mu ranges from okay it ranges from 0 to 1 and then 0 meaning that uh, it's a frictionless surface meaning there's no friction and then one meaning that it's very rough surface or the roughest surface because remember friction is between two surfaces that uh, probably is uh, scratching, sliding, or rolling past one another. And that's where we get the existence of frictional force. Okay, so let's just assume that in this case, you were told that the value of the coefficient of friction is 0 0.5. So you will come down here, okay? So you found already your normal force. So then the next thing is to find your frictional force. So your frictional force equals to U times your normal force, which is equal to 0 .0 0 0.5. Yeah, it goes to 0 0.5 and then all of that multiplied by you the answer that you got of the normal force so that it's 9.0 right, so it's important to know how to calculate your normal force because you can't get your friction force if you don't know how to get your normal force okay so, but specifically on this one, we are focusing on when you are given, right, the coefficient of friction. So, you take your values, 80.9, and you multiply by 0 0.5, and then you will get that your frictional force is 40.45. And that's Newton's. All right. So the direction is going to depend, obviously, on where the applied force is. So on this scenario, we can see that the applied force is applied uh, towards the. We can see that is towards the right. So it means our frictional force will therefore be left. All right. So. Frictional force will oppose the applied force. Okay, or rather it will oppose the resultant force. All right. So if you are looking for, okay, let's check also down here with this. So you already found your normal force so finding the frictional force is an easy thing you just say okay i know that frictional force 
equals to coefficient of friction times the normal force. Then let's just say in this case, you are told that the coefficient of friction is 0 0.4, so which means you will now put 0 0.4, and then the answer that you already got of the normal force, and then that will be 52. Okay, so that would be your value of 52 newtons, right, which will give you your normal force. Right, so you can see it's such an easy thing to find the, uh, the frictional force because it's basically just the coefficient of friction multiplied by multiplied by your normal force. So you just need to know how to find the normal force in different scenarios. So you can see uh, different normal force in different scenarios. Do watch the video, all right? If you wanna see all of this, how we got to uh, all this question, you need to watch the video where we were finding the normal force in different scenarios okay for example even on inclines so which means on this incline we are just basically going to all right we were just going to basically uh, say okay what is the coefficient of friction maybe they tell us that the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3 all right so we were just going to say okay frictional force therefore equals to that times normal force which is 0 0.3 times the answer which is 750.72 all right so you take that you put in your calculator and voila you get your answer so it's not a very it's not a very um, hard thing to do so for that one, it will be 2 to 5.2 to Newtons. Okay, so now, because the parallel component of the gravity is acting down, frictional force will act up. So the frictional force will act up because here we've got Fg parallel acting that way. So the frictional force will act to the left or up the incline. That's how easy it is. All right, if you like the video, give it a like, give us a subscribe so that you can always know what videos have been uploaded.